everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a really lovely week. So this week, um, I'm going to be talking to you about how I became a Tropic Skincare Ambassador. If you watched my Get To Know Me video that I posted last Sunday, then you will see that obviously I'm in the RAF, it's my full-time job. However, on the side, I am a Tropic Skincare Ambassador and I have been for the last year now. If you haven't seen my Get To Know Me video, then go and watch it. <laughs> a bit of a background into how I became a Tropic Skincare Ambassador. So two years ago, I decided to stop eating meat. I'd been flitting um, between eating meat and not eating meat for about a year. Um, after seeing documentaries on Netflix, reading books, um, I decided then, I got to a point where I thought I don't want to eat meat anymore. So I stopped two years ago. With this, I started looking at other aspects of my life as well, where I could improve products I used and and lean more towards being more natural, cruelty-free, um, yeah, more natural and cruelty-free lifestyle. Obviously, a big part of that is products I use. So whether that be skincare, in the shower, for my hair care, body wash, and makeup. So I also, a bit about my skin, as a teenager, I never struggled with my skin. I always had very clear skin. I was very lucky. Until I was about 25, mid-20s, I started getting breakouts quite badly around my jawline um, and my chin area. This got me down quite a lot um, and I suffered with it since I was 25. I'm now 32. So I tried all different kinds of skincare. Um, you know, all the ones that are recommended for spot prone skin and all that kind of thing nothing worked i went to the doctor they gave me a bit of a cream to try and help they even put me on a prescription at one point but you read the side effects and they're really not very nice so i was never very keen to use them and never carried out a full course so in summer 2018 i went to a vegan festival i was just interested i'd obviously changed my diet slightly not to vegan but i'd stopped eating meat and dairy uh sorry stopped eating meat and fish um and i went along with my parents and you know just had a bit of a browse we saw a few lectures and you know there were people there with different stands food stands all sorts of things I saw a lady who was selling Tropic Skincare. I went to her stand, I had a look, I inquired a bit about it and I took away a leaflet. I didn't buy anything that day. A couple of months later I looked online at it and I decided, right, I'm going to try it. It was all natural, all natural ingredients used in these products, um, all vegan, all cruelty free. I thought, right, I've tried so many before, haven't tried this one, let's give it a go. So I purchased the ABC collection. Now, if you don't know, the ABC collection is cleanser, toner, moisturiser, and you get a free face mask with it. And I chose the clear skin face mask. So I started using this. After a few weeks, I really saw an improvement in my skin and the products are so beautiful that I thought, okay, this looks good. Fast forward a few months, we're looking like Christmas time. I got bought some more skincare from Tropic and I got to try a few more products. In the January, I saw that you can actually become a Tropic Skincare Ambassador yourself. So I got in touch with this lady who I followed on Instagram for a little while um, and asked her about it because I thought, this is something I'm really interested in. I love the products, it's really helped my skin. And you know, I'm, I'm always keen to try new things and I was interested in just doing something extra outside of work and it was something that I really, was becoming passionate about as well so I inquired with her and she told me about the opportunity to become an ambassador myself and instantly when she told me about the company the brand a bit more I just jumped at the chance so this was probably the 2nd or 3rd of January 2019 that I became the Tropic Skincare Ambassador myself I wish I had before pictures to show you of my skin what it was like because the transformation would be amazing, but obviously those that do suffer with their skin as well, you'll know that you're not keen to have photos taken of your face when you have bad breakouts. It's just not something that you do. So unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of my bare face when I had bad skin. Fast forward to now, I've been a Tropic Skincare Ambassador for a, a whole year, and I absolutely love it. I 
obviously have used a lot more of the products since and I use products from body care so moisturizers body washes deodorant um, to the shampoo and conditioner for my hair I use all the skincare and in March of last year they launched their makeup range and yes all the makeup I'm currently wearing on my face and that I wear all the time is apart from a couple of products um, that I still have from before things I still have that aren't Tropic are lipsticks um, but as soon as I've used them up then I will 100% change to Tropic um, and I mean the one I've got on my lips now is is Tropic um, it's the which one is it it's the fresh fig is what I'm wearing now Last weekend, I went to the Tropic Roadshow. Now, every year, Susie Ma, who is the founder of the company, she goes around the UK and does talks to people about Tropic, um, to the ambassadors, anybody considering joining as an ambassador, and tells you about the company, how it started, her story. So I went last year when I first started, and it's so inspiring and interesting that I went again and took Amy with me this year and I filmed some of it for you because I can sit here and tell you all day about the company but what better way to hear about it than from the founder herself so I'm going to leave you to watch some of it of what Susie Ma has to say about the company and you'll also get to hear from other ambassadors who um, have been doing this for maybe longer than I have um, and how they fit it into their lives obviously like I've said I have a full-time job in the RAF which can be quite demanding um, and it really allows you to fit it around whatever you have going on in your life whether it's a full-on career um, whether it's family children whatever it may be so I will leave you with the videos and um, I will come back to you and speak to you afterwards <laughs> because I know that there's lots of new faces in the audience. My name is Susie Ma. I am the founder and CEO of Tropic. And this gentleman here is uh, my number two in the business. He's been at the forefront of the company since the very beginning. And he's our operations director. And most importantly, he is my brother from another mother. <laughs> but despite being small, my grandmother is not to be underestimated. She's actually one of the smartest people that I've ever met. And growing up in Shanghai, she became the first woman in her family to attend medical school. And this is back in 1944, a time when women all over the world were undervalued for their intellectual abilities. But despite this, my granny went on to train as a surgeon. And she would have been amazing, apart from one little problem. She couldn't handle cutting open bodies. <laughs> so we realized that this was a pretty major setback, she thought, oh well, she retrained again, and this time as a medicinal chemist. So here's a picture of her just casually whipping up a batch of penicillin in her lab when she was working for a pharmaceutical company when she was just 28 years old. Amazing. And then later on in life, she retrained again to become a toxicologist. And then she went on to dedicate the remainder of her life to studying the toxic effects of man-made chemicals on the human body. She studied something called the body burden, something that I'll touch on later on. And she explained that these toxic chemicals were found everywhere, from the air that we breathe, to the food that we eat, to the plastics that we use, and even to the products we put onto our skin, our largest organ. And she explained that our bodies have not evolved fast enough to be able to recognize all these new man-made chemicals. And so they stay in our bodies for much longer than they should, disrupting the way that our organs are supposed to function and can make us ill in the long term. And therefore, we needed to try to avoid them as much as possible. But she used to always repeat a phrase to me, which is that toxic chemicals disrupt our chi, and that's our energy, and that we need to try to live clean. Now, you can imagine how much that terrified me as a six-year-old. I did not want my chi disrupted. <laughs> So my granny was and still is incredibly passionate about clean living and about nourishing her body with natural ingredients inside and out. And actually she's been doing it all her life, long before it became trendy. She was stubborn and loyal to home cooking and she made her own medicine. And what she also did was 
make her own skincare products. So back in Oz, we had loads of aloe vera growing in our wild back garden. And my granny used to go out into the back garden with a giant knife, hack off a giant piece of aloe vera leaf, slice it over and scoop out the gel, and every time she had a shower, she would cover her whole face and body and hair with aloe vera. And she'd always tell me about the amazing abundance of amino acids and minerals that make aloe vera so incredible for soothing and hydrating the skin. And for those of you who are using Tropic, you'll know that aloe vera juice features as one of the primary ingredients in our products. She also used to go to local markets and cans and come back with giant blocks of shea butter. And she used to hammer it apart and whip it up into a really fluffy body moisturizer to nourish our skin. And of course, that went on to inspire our whipped body velvet today. But my favorite of my grandma's recipes was this really beautiful body scrub. And it's a simple recipe of some sea salt to exfoliate our skin, macadamia oils to hydrate and nourish, and my favorite essential oil of all time, lemon myrtle. And that helped to really brighten and uplift my mood. <coughs> and oh my gosh, I had the best memories growing up with my grandma. And of course, living in Oz with her, she helped to shape the very core foundations of what would become a lifelong passion for natural skincare for me. And she went on, of course, to inspire the very core ethics around which I built this business. The BBC show called The Apprentice. Anyone, did anyone watch my series, by the way, on The Apprentice? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, the year that I applied was the first year that they changed the process from a £100,000 job with Lord Sugar to a quarter of a million pound investment into a 50% share of your company. And I remember looking at the opportunity, looking at this guy in the middle and thinking, yeah, he needs some skincare. <laughs> <laughs> and so picture this, I am this extremely hangry, exhausted, 21-year-old, trying to get my voice heard, and then I finally get to the final, and the logic of fires me mm -hmm. in front of 13 million people, I find out later on. But you know what? The Apprentice was one of the best experiences of my life. And I waited for the show to air on TV. And six months later, The Apprentice aired, and right after the series ended, there's something called the Your Hired Show. Do you guys know what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the, the show straight after the series. Um, and during the Your Hired Show, Nick Hewer said to Lord Sugar, and I don't think this was aired on TV, but he said to Lord Sugar that had it been him, he would have chosen me to win this, the show. So I was like, thanks, Nick. And then during the after party, Lord Sugar came up to me and said, Susie, why don't you come to me, um, to my office next week, and present to me your products, and I'm going to give them to my wife to try them, to see if she likes them. <laughs> and my heart actually sank, because Lord Sugar's wife, Lady Anne, is married to a billionaire, and she can afford whatever products she wants. And there I was, packing up my little jam jars and five at a time, <laughs> in like a little box, trying to make it pretty with a bow. And I sent it, and I waited two weeks. And two weeks later, Lord Sugar gave me a call to invite me back into his office. And the first thing he said was that his wife loved the products. I was like, yes! <laughs> and he asked me how much money I wanted for a 50% share of Tropic. Now, I went onto the show for a quarter of a million, and I got fired. So I went in at 200,000 pounds, and Lord Sugar snapped it up. And that would become the best apprentice investment he has ever made. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love this photo. So, we, in the beginning, it was his investment that allowed me to move out of my mum's little kitchen and into our own dedicated warehouse space that I'll share with you later on. I was able to expand production, expand our product range, and even have our own website. And when it came to deciding how we wanted to market our products, <coughs> we couldn't decide. So I suggested that I wanted to open up my first traffic shop. I wanted to have a shop on Oxford Street in London, but that was going to cost millions and we couldn't afford that. And Lord Sugar wanted to have our traffic products sold in department stores sitting on a shelf, which really did not sit right with me because it was so impersonal. I'd always been selling traffic at markets through demonstration. And sitting on a shelf not only meant that you had this impersonal experience, it also meant that I could no longer make my products fresh, because often those products have been sitting in a warehouse space or a storeroom for a long time before they end up on the shelf for you to buy. 
And so we couldn't agree on how we were going to market our products. And it was around this time that I, that I received a telephone call from a customer called Jill, and then later on a customer called Sarah, and then Carol. Um, some of them are sitting in this room today. And they suggested a business model that I wasn't familiar with. It was a business model that empowers people across the country to build their own flexible businesses using our beauty products as a platform. A business model called social selling. And it really struck a chord with me because it was no different to what I'd be doing all along, which is having my friends share my freshly made products through demonstration and then I'd pay them on commission. And it also meant that I could continue to make our products fresh. We wanted to create a company that was collaborative, ethical, and empowering. And we spent 12 months trying to figure out how it would all work. And we finally decided that this business was going to be a company that focuses on sharing our incredible products at its core. So that the more you sell, the more commission you make. Now my friends back in the day got 20% commission on everything they sold, but our ambassadors would instead enjoy a progressive commission structure starting at 25% immediate commission and earning anywhere up to 35% commission on their sales. Second, I also wanted to make sure that everything um, that our ambassadors did was fair, so that everybody, no matter who they were and how much experience they had, everybody would start on the same footing. With a starter kit, a one-off cost of joining that includes everything you need from your skincare products, your website, to your training and business tools, everything you need to grow your business from a box. Thirdly, I wanted to have our products fresh. I've always believed in that. So my grandma <coughs> told me it was best for our And so we discouraged any of our ambassadors from holding stock. Our ambassadors would only buy our skincare products after they sold them to maintain the freshness of the product for our customers. And finally, I wanted to create a culture that was nurturing and empowering. A culture where everybody helps each other to succeed so that we can move forward as one. And so therefore, we created a business that incentivizes our ambassadors to help others to succeed. So that when an ambassador brings in a newbie, that ambassador is not rewarded for that newbie until that newbie starts to earn commission on her own sales. So that the motivation is never on recruitment, but always on helping others to succeed. And now we pass you on to our fabulous, wonderful Carlton Connell. <laughs> For those of you that um, are, are new to Tropic, it's, it really is such an incredible story to be part of. So they've got lots of, um, lots of ambassadors within their team, some very new ambassadors and more established ones as well. And of course, these guys are, are building their businesses as well um, to, to the high levels that we have as well. So they are well equipped to answer all the questions that I've got coming your way. Okay, so we're going to go down the line, starting over this side. Um, if you can tell us what your name is, um, if you have another job, um, let us know what that is as well. How long have you been with Tropic and if you've got anything else going on at home, so... Uh, hi everybody, my name is Shane Cobwell and I actually joined Tropic three years ago in March. Ooh, so, coming up. Yeah, coming up. And um, I actually got made redundant and I was going to retire, but... Um, the first month, you know, when I was tired, it was, I mean, the house was tidy, ironing done, and organised air and cupboard, and I thought, I just can't do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> I needed something for me. Um, I have now got two grandchildren and a step-granddaughter, so I have them on a weekly basis. So my name is Christina Howard. Um, I had my chocolate anniversary um, about a week ago, so I've been with chocolate for two years. Wow. Um, I'm very busy, I've got three children, five, seven and nine, quite crazy, um, and I also um, run a business with my husband. Hi, I'm Melissa King and I've been with Tropic for 18 months now. Um, I have two crazy boys who are six and nine and I have a gorgeous dog and a great husband. Always um, last. Husband's always <laughs> last. <laughs> always last with this. <laughs> And he works away on the oil rigs. Um, so I also have my own business called Natural Aesthetics. Hi, I'm Claire Dale. Um, I've been with Tropic for two years now, actually two years yesterday. Um, I have, I'm going to start with him because he's in the room, so I've got my husband and dad in there. I'm actually if they're in the room. <laughs> well done! Um, and I've got um, 
have two children, Max and Mia. Max is five and Mia's nine. And I also um, run a jewelry and accessories company with um, another chocolate ambassador. Wow, fabulous, good, lovely. <laughs> I just fell in love. Well, I fell in love with the products, but I fell in love with the ethos of the, the company as well. Yeah, yeah. And knowing that um, it was something that I could do around um, the holidays and mm -hmm. family and everything. I actually won a free facial for my now manager, he's in the audience, <laughs> uh, with my sister, and absolutely fell in love with the products bought the deluxe as it was back then. Yes. And then that was my start really with, you know, cleaner, beauty, and yeah. skincare. Thank you, Melissa, what about you? Um, I was treating a client one day and we were talking about Sir Alice Sugar's yacht and my husband took a picture of it and she went, oh, my cousin was on there. And I how did your cousin get on there? And she told me about Tropic. So I went home, I had a look on the internet and then I signed up there and then. Thank you, Gary. Um, I kind of found Tropic a little bit by mistake, really. Um, I've been having necklace and casing kept to me from New Zealand by my sister-in-law um, because she discovered it when she was diagnosed with cancer and she decided that we all had to go on to natural skin care. Um, so she'd been sending me out products from New Zealand for three or four years, which I loved. Um, but sadly, when she passed away, my mum kept forgetting to post that package out to me. And I bumped into a friend who said to me, do you want to try this skincare? And I said, like, I'll try anything once, but I was really, really sceptical. So she gave me these little tiny pots, I think they're about three mil each, they lasted about three days. Um, and she rang me and she said, how do you like the products? And I went, yeah, good. And she said, do you want to order? And I went, no. <laughs> and I could hear her voice drop, and I said, but I do want to join. And that was oh, how I joined. Oh, that was a even better conversation. Yeah, just wow. for examples, um, to just try the products and see how I found them. Dan said, what do you want for Christmas? And I thought, because I'm hard to buy for, you know, yeah. I always sell the jewellery and everything. And so I said, um, oh, you know what? Can you get in contact with that lovely Claire? And there's loads of things I want to try. I just want to try loads of it. And so he did. And then, literally, I've been using it since Christmas, and about a week into January, I was taking off my cleanser and thinking, why am I not selling this to This is lovely. So, wow. got in contact with Claire, found out a little bit more about it, and um, I wasn't going to do parties, and I wasn't going to <laughs> do this, and I wasn't going to do that, but, you know, that soon changed, wow. you know, once I realised how fantastic it was. But you've got other businesses going on, haven't you, as well, yeah, so how do you fit so, it in? I've got my I've got my business that I work on from at home, um, but I also have two crazy boys. My husband works away, so right, yeah. I needed something that was going to fit in to my life as and when I needed it to, uh -huh. um, and and it was just this worked absolutely perfectly. Um, I have I take my kids to school because you know my main drive for anything in my life is my children. Of so course, yeah. I take my kids to school. I pick them up. <coughs> Events. I'm always there cheering the loudest mum sports day, <laughs> um, but that's really important to me. But to be able to just fit Tropic, something I absolutely love leaving into my family life, and it's slotted so perfectly into my business. And um, with my husband being away all the time, I just I could do it 24 7 if I was honest. I mean, oh, I've got big kids, oh, I've got to stop doing Tropic. <laughs> Fabulous. Teenage girls between the ages of 14 and 18, and they tested the toxicity of their bodies and found that all 100 of these girls tested positive for the four most toxic cosmetic chemical groups known to man. And those are phthalates, paraffins, triclosan, and oxybenzone. Uh, phthalates are used um, in fragrances to make products smell nice. Parabens are used as preservatives, triclosan is used as an antibacterial agent that you'll find in a lot of hand washes, and oxybenzone is a really commonly used sunscreen chemical. And next to each of these ingredients, you'll see a number attributed to them by the EWG. This is the Environmental Working Group, a not-for-profit organisation that assesses the toxicity of so many of the cosmetic chemicals that we apply onto our skin on a daily basis. And that number is given to them based on so many studies and scientific evidence to look at the toxicity of these ingredients. So the higher the number, the more toxic it is to our environment and to our bodies.
It goes red, amber, and green. You can see that all of these chemicals are in the red zone. They are classified as carcinogens, and the top two, phthalates and parabens, are classified as endocrine disruptors, which means that when they bioaccumulate in our bodies, they have the ability to change our levels of hormones. How dangerous is that for the teenage girls that are using these chemicals on their skin on a daily basis? And what shocks me is that having all this information available everywhere, you can Google these ingredients online, you can find out all the studies that make them toxic. But these chemicals are still being used so widely in so many of the cosmetic and personal care products we find on the shelves today. That's not acceptable. And so at Tropic, our first and foremost principle is to be healthy, to create healthy products for your skin. Your skin is your largest organ. And it's important to feed it with goodness. And so we pack the most nutritious, gorgeous ingredients into our products and have every single one of our ingredients vetted to ensure their safety. And we have our ingredients vetted by a company called Think Dirty, who use EWG to help verify those ingredients. So for those of you who haven't heard of Think Dirty, it is a brilliant app that you can download on whatever phone you have, and then you can scan the barcode of any cosmetic or personal care product you have at home, and it gives you a toxicity rating. And then you can click on that product and it expands out to the ingredients and then you can see the rating of each of those ingredients and expand on that to just learn a little bit more. And it really helps you make uh, really good decisions on what you should and should not put onto your skin. Our makeup palette is amazing because you don't throw away any bits of plastic. Instead, you replace a little aluminium pan, which is infinitely recyclable, um, to replace any colours that you run out of. And since launching last year, we have already saved over 3.5 tonnes of plastic and we've also launched our refillable serum bottles, so you don't have to throw away the pet, and our refillable pouches for our body wash, uh, sorry, for our bubble baths and our hand washes. Now when it comes to the paper that we use in the business, so that's the wraps that you have around your products, the cardboard boxes that you receive, um, the leaflets that you received as you came through the door today, the catalogs that you guys give to your customers, every bit of paper that we use at Tropic is made from sustainable forests, from sustainable wood and sustainable paper. Every bit of ink and glue that we use to, uh, in our products um, is actually made from vegetable inks and vegetable derived gums. So that when our paper goes back out into the environment, it is completely non-toxic. When we first moved into our HQ, it was a completely blank canvas, which meant that we had um, the ability to be really creative on how we can make our space more eco-efficient. And Carlson did a really clever design with the design team where the air that is generated, um, so the hot air that is created from the factory downstairs, from our beauty kitchen, that hot air is circulated upstairs to heat the offices, to keep us warm in the winter. The water is also recirculated in the building to minimize waste, and every bit of energy that is used, so our gas, our electricity, all of that comes from renewable sources. So that every Tropic product that you guys receive at home, that is all made with green energy. I'm also really proud to tell all of you that we are one of just 300 companies in the world to be carbon neutral certified. Now, what does that mean? That means that every bit of carbon that we create from importing our ingredients from exotic regions around the world to creation of our products, to delivering our products to our, to our customers, um, to our staff journeys, to our growth from work, to this ratio, to taking our ambassadors abroad, every bit of carbon that is created by Tropic is offset by doing conservation work in the Amazon rainforest and by protecting biodiversity reserves in Rimbarea in Indonesia. And then just to go the extra mile, we offset our carbon by double, which is something that's completely unheard of in the beauty industry and beyond. And that's amazing. Can you imagine if every company in the world looked at their carbon footprint and were carbon neutral or carbon negative like us? We would not be in this climate change crisis that we're in today, right? And we also achieved our target last year of sending zero waste to landfill from HQ. So that every bit of rubbish that we create is repurposed, reused, and recycled. So none of what we generate at HQ will ever end up in our oceans or in any landfills. And finally, we are really proud to stand with our planet animals. I've never believed in animal testing. And I also don't believe that we need any animal derivatives to cause any animal stress in order to look good. The plants in the world offers everything we need for beautiful skincare. And so we proudly stand with PETA, the Vegan Society, and Cruelty Free International to show our commitment to animal welfare. And I'm super proud of that. Partnered with an amazing charity 
called United World Schools to help educate children living in some of the most remote parts of the world in Cambodia, Nepal, and Myanmar. Now, I have been very privileged to have, a to have had a great education growing up. And actually, I wouldn't be standing in front of all of you guys today had I not had the education that I was blessed to have. But I found out last year that 62 million children around the world today don't have access to even primary school education. 62 million kids don't have access to primary school education. That is not okay. I believe that education is a human right and not a privilege. And so we are using our good fortune to empower others in the form of every Tropic sale. So every 50 pounds that we receive at Tropic will go towards funding one day of education for these kids. Since just September of last year, our ambassadors have helped us to donate over 423,000 school days to the kids living in Nepal. Isn't that amazing? And so if you are a guest in the room with us, we'd love for you to join our family and to be part of our journey. And most of all, we have more green initiatives to execute for our planet. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we do. We are simply a company that does good, feels good, and makes you look good. Thank you so much. So I hope that's given you a bit more information about the company, the brand, what it stands for, and it's been interesting for you to hear some other people's stories other than my own about how they fit into their life um, and how they manage with busy lives like we all have. So if you are interested in either trying some of the products yourself or if you've perhaps tried them already and you love them and are interested in becoming an ambassador yourself, then all that you have to do, just send me a message and the starter kit is basically £198 to start and with that you get, I think it's about 500, four to five hundred pounds of Tropic products to get your business started. Okay, you'll get the order forms that you need, you'll get your online shop set up for you, you'll get a load of products and it's just amazing. But just drop me a message and I'll send you all the information that you need. But obviously, if you haven't tried any of the products and want to, then drop me a message and I'll answer any questions that you may have about any of the products um, and which ones perhaps may be best for you um, and which ones maybe to get started with depending on what you're looking for. Um, but honestly, it's the best thing I ever did and if you're also looking for a more natural beauty brand, cruelty free, vegan, then I couldn't recommend Tropic enough. Obviously it is not my main job, um, so this I do purely because I love the brand and I'm passionate about passionate about it. What's so lovely is that when you introduce people to using these products, all I get is positive feedback and it's so lovely when I get a message. Um, I got a message from a lady the other night saying that she tried the mini complexion trios, the serums, and they've transformed her skin. Now, obviously I know what it's like to have bad skin and my skin is by no means perfect, but it's so much better than what it was. And there's nothing better than waking up and not having to worry about your skin and knowing that you've that you can just wake up and have clear skin and feel confident because when it's when it's bad you just think everyone's looking at your face and you know and just all they're thinking about is your breakouts on your face so that has got to be my favorite thing is when people try it and they say how it's just changed their skin and honestly you just need to try them because I've never found anything else as great as Tropic and so much so that I decided to take it up in my spare time to get the message out there. So yeah, I'll stop babbling on. If you want to know more about the products, joining as an ambassador, whatever it may be, drop me a message, leave me a comment below and I will also leave links to my Instagram page. So I have Tropic by Charlotte Jordan Instagram and I will leave a link to my normal one as well, um, which is Charlotte Jordan underscore 87. And I will also leave a link below in the description box 
for the my online shop and also I'll leave a link for the catalogue so if you want to go and have a browse um, and then have any questions after that then feel free to message me. Also I will be doing videos regarding the products, how I use them, which ones I absolutely love and things like that as I go along this journey of my YouTube channel. So if you would like to see more of them make sure you go and subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, yeah don't forget to leave me a comment below and um, yeah because I'd love to see who's watching my videos and get to know some of you. So thanks very much and I'll see you next week. Bye.